If you don't know, now you know. Kanye West is being forced to pay $200,000 in child support for their four kids to Kim Kardashian, even though she makes more money than him now. She's a billionaire still. And uh, and still, they have to equally split the expenses for the kids. This is what it's saying. The two have four children whose ages range from three to nine years old. Kardashian and Ye will equally split the expenses for the kids, private security and private school, including college, according to the settlement proposal. They will also pay their own debts, the settlement said, the two have a prenuptial agreement and kept their property largely separate. Now, prenuptial agreement is in full effect, but what does that matter when you have four kids? You know what I'm saying? And that's what most people have to remember. The prenuptial agreements do work, but does it matter when you have kids? It don't because you still got to pay for them kids. And most people have kids outside of marriage anyway. So you got to worry about that child support. What do you got to worry about anything else? But I'm just going to say this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Kim Kardashian makes... She's a billionaire. She makes more. She's valued at more than Kanye West right now. He's lost money. He's not evaluated as a billionaire anymore. He's probably uh, anywhere from 400 to 600 million. But still, $200,000 is a lot of money to pay per month for four kids. That's $50,000 per child. And it's not, listen, a child does not need $50,000 to survive. And you have to split the cost of these. Of, of their private security, of college, and all of this stuff. What are we splitting costs for? If he's paying you $200,000 a month and you don't need it, you already a billionaire. Come on, what are you, listen, come on, man. A child does not need $50,000 to be taken care of. And I, and I admit somewhat, to some degree, that it should be charted as far as what you make. But I still believe there should be some type of cap on this because there's no way. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that a child needs $50,000 to survive a month. And I'm not saying survive, but in, in the cases of rich kids, they're going to need more things. They're going to need private security. They're going to go to better schools. They're going to have better cars to drive in and this, that, and other. Chauffeurs and nannies and this, that, and other. I understand all of that. But where's the documentation that says all of this adds up to be $50,000 a month? Because it doesn't. In most cases, it doesn't. No child needs that much. And, then, and I believe if you would make these women start to produce the receipts to show that they were spending the whole amount on the child, then there would be some fraud cases because that's what that is, right? If you have money that's allocated for the child, but yet you spending it on your hairdos, on your trips with your dude going this place and that one, on your side house that you got with your dude and come into town and this, that, and the other, and this, that, and the private jet going this place and that place. That's mismanagement of funds, which is what? Fraud. That's what Brett Favre uh, is looking at right now. I don't know if they're going to jail him for it, but they should be when he had uh, officials, state officials, take funds that were meant for Mississippi poor people and had them funneled to him for speaking engagements and all this different type of stuff. Millions of dollars were wasted on people that should have got it. And, and, and a lot of women be doing this to their kids. The money that they get granted don't always go to the kids. And women, I'm not putting all y'all down. A lot of times, the money ain't enough. A lot of times, money ain't enough because the fellas be trying to duck and, and you know what I'm saying, and get out of pan and, and, and uh, switching funds around and this, that, and the other. But I'm going to be real. Fellas are forced to have to do this because the evaluation that y'all be setting on a, on a dude's bank account, be far, it be far exceeding what the child really needs. So they be having to duck and do all this extra stuff because, if, listen, if y'all had to prove them funds, if y'all had to prove that them kids were getting the whole $50,000, if you had to come to the judge and prove that over the last year, that with receipts, that, all, that your child... That whole $50,000 went to your child that I believe a lot of women would be, would, would be in trouble for this. Because that's fraud. You're taking the funds that's allocated to go to the child, but you're spending them on yourself. That's fraud. I've seen it way too many times. And, it, and it's just, it doesn't make no sense because the kid will show up looking raggedy. And this is in cases where it's not even rich people. It's, it's you know, this, this, this is, this scales from poor people to rich people. But they do the same thing. They overvaluate what the child needs. And then once you get it, you spending it on you and then child show up looking bummy 
dirty clothes, dirty this, nothing new. You know what I'm saying? Can't get nothing new for their birthday, this, that, and the other. All right? And so the man that's paying child support end up having to pay more money to get his child some birthday clothes and some clothes for school and this, that, and the other. When he should have already had it. It's mismanagement of funds. It's fraud. If you can't prove that that child is being having $50,000 spent on them, then it should be a problem for them to get it. Stop evaluating that. If you had to spend that money up front and then back charge it and with receipts, then I believe a lot of women would come up short as far as the where it was evaluated, where they said they was going to get. And, and y'all, Monique Sanders, I was watching Comedy Hype, was saying that, oh, this is black. They always talking about black women and gold diggers and this, gold diggers and this, that, and the other. And, and, and then it's women like Kim Kardashian be the ones that be the main ones in your pocket. No, it's all y'all. It's all of y'all women that do this. And please don't get mad at your boy because I ain't got nothing for you no way. Okay? What you, what you getting out of me? With a bag of cans? <laughs> a month? That's what you want? Them Fago cans out your boy? I'm broke. I ain't got nothing for you. So I'm not speaking like I'm Kanye, but I'm just saying I see that the system is broken. And it's not meant to be fair to men. And, and a lot of women are women in these cases. It's not just Kim Kardashian or white women or women that are not ethnic Michael Jordan's uh, wife got a big settlement when they when they split. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, um, Nas and Khalees, she got forty four thousand a month in child support out of Nas when when they split. That's, it's just it's too much money, man. It's too much money to tell me that the child needs that much. The child does not need that much money to even have the finer things in life. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's too much money, man. And, and you can't tell me it's. Valid because women lose their breath when it when it goes the other way. I saw a little divorce case on TV, one of them little short court cases or something like that. And, and when the woman was was talking about what she made and how much real estate she got and this that and other, the judge was a woman, so she thought she was ruling in her favor. And then she ruled to up the child support in favor of the man, and she was huh, took her breath away. You know what I'm saying? But why are you so shocked? Why are you so shocked? Because this is what y'all do to men on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? But when it's flipped on you and you the breadwinner, you know, which is why I didn't understand in this case why this couldn't have been argued because she's clearly making more money than him. So I don't understand why not only he's having to pay $200,000 a month, but then they got to split college costs and all this on top of that. Hey, come on, man. Take that out of that, that 200 you're getting already. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I said we got to be careful on, on having kids like Pierre. Uh, on Comedy High brought this up too. He was like, it, it, it'll, it'll show you that the imbalance is there when they when you're trying to evaluate stuff because he said he saw a case where a billionaire was 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 going through a divorce case and the wife claimed that she needed 300000 a month in child support for to take care of the kid. And the judge said, why do you need that much? And she well, it's this and that and school and da, da, da. Okay, I'm a, I, if I grant it to you, I'm going to require every month that you claim that you come in here with receipts to prove up to the penny that you spent that whole 3000 on that kid. And she, uh, then she started losing her breath, choking up. Oh, now you're on, now you're on, uh, uh, never mind. Oh, now it's a never mind. You see what I'm saying? Because the whole intention was you for you to be fraudulent in the first place. You know that child don't need that much money. But yet you're trying to get that much money because it was a prenup set up. So you're trying to get it on the back end of the child. Knowing the child don't need that much money, even though y'all rich, child don't need that much money to, to, <laughs> to be taken care of, to be highly taken care of at that. So stop overdoing it. And I, and I believe fellas wouldn't have to be trying to duck and dodge all and hide money and this, that, and the do. Like, and then fellas pay what you owe, pay what you owe. If you, if you, Got kids out here, and and then the mother is getting child support, but she not trying to tie. Man, pay what you owe, pay what you owe, bro. Kids is expensive out here. They're not fifty thousand dollar expensive, but they're expensive. And this this is a lot of reason that men shy away from marriage. But even though this is not a marriage problem, because as you can see, the prenup was set up, but it, but it was a what? You don't get spousal support on each end. Okay, whatever. Y'all keep your houses. Okay, whatever. But still, you, when it comes to them children's, you got to pay top dollar for them children. And they're going to still tax you top dollar on them children's as far as what you paying that woman for, for, for not being there with the kids or whatever. And that's even after split custody. They have a split custody with these kids and you still got to pay that much. That's ridiculous. But this is your boy, Pete Camp. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. 
about this two hundred thousand dollars a month situation. Is it too much? Is it not enough? What you think? Which way you coming with it?